Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should. All is well, cause I'm gonna dwell.
But we have freedom and liberty in Christ. Hallelujah. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Are you free? Hallelujah. Are you free from your sins and bondage? Oh, there's no greater feeling than to be free in Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm thankful. Praise God that He set me free. Praise the Lord. And I worship Him and I magnify Him. Hallelujah. For all the good things that God has done. Amen. He's on the throne. And even though the battle rages and there's all kinds of craziness around us, my God, hallelujah, He sustains us. Lord, Praise the Lord. Amen. And I just want to thank everyone for your prayers, for praying for me, for the funeral that I had yesterday. And just, uh, it just I just want to thank God that He... He's never left me. Hallelujah. He's always there. And I praise Him and I thank the Lord for being with the family. And I just felt that peace. I know it was hard for some. to. I know his daughter, which I never met because she lives down in North Carolina. She had trouble coming in to the funeral home. And I could just sense that when the service began and I began to sing, I could just feel the peace of God come down. Praise the Lord. There's no greater feeling than to have the peace of the living God in your life. You need Him. Hallelujah. And we need His peace. Praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles this morning, you can turn to the book of John, chapter 10. Praise the Lord. I don't have my... My better half this morning. I always miss when he's gone, but I know that he's missing me also. Um, but he'll be back tonight. You pray for him. Um, praise the Lord. Sharing in a church this morning, sharing our ministry and headlighting trucking. I just ask that you would continue to pray for me as your pastor and then also pray for Shannon as he continues to do uh, the ministry to the truck drivers. Yeah. Lift him up and I'm, I'm praying for more souls as I'm in one place and he's in another. We can see even more salvations and we can see a great move and a mighty revival. Amen? Amen. That's what God's plan is. He wants to see souls saved. Praise God. And He loves us this morning. Praise the Lord. The book of John, we're going to start at, ch at chapter 10, verse 3. And it says, To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. For they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. The parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what the things that they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf scattereth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is a hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. 
Hallelujah. Are you thankful for the reading of God's Word? Hallelujah. Let's praise Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your Word this morning, Lord. For we know, God, that your Word, Lord Jesus, uh, Lord, will be here to the end of age. It will never pass away. Thank you, Lord, for your Word today. Lord, I pray, God, that your Word would go forth in our lives. Let it change us, oh God. Lord, let us be assured that you are with us, that you are the good shepherd, Lord, that you love us, Lord. You don't want us to be lost, Lord. You don't want us to scatter, God, but Lord, you want us to come into that fold, Lord. Lord, I pray, God, that you would hide your servant behind the cross of Calvary, Lord. And Lord, let my words be of you. You, Lord, today. Lord, I ask it in Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus is the good shepherd. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We can look to Him and we can put our trust in the Lord this morning. I'm so thankful that I heard the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness this morning that you've heard His voice, that He has spoken to you? I know without a shadow and without a doubt, God is speaking to each and every one of us this morning. He speaks His voice, and I pray that you will be listening when He speaks. Speaks. Hallelujah. When you hear the voice of the Lord, that you will open your ear unto Him. Hallelujah. And you will hear what He has to say. In Hebrews 3, 7, it says, Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith today, if you will hear His voice. Hallelujah. You've got to be listening to hear His voice. Uh, open up your ear. Uh, be attentive uh, to the voice of the Lord. I always think of Samuel when he heard the voice of the Lord. He didn't know what was going on. He didn't know that it was the Lord. Uh, but the priest Eli informed him, uh, if you hear it again, say, here I am. Hallelujah. That's what we need to have. That kind of attitude this morning. When the voice of the Lord is speaking to us, uh, that we would be attentive to His voice. Hallelujah. And we would be obedient to say, yes, Lord, here I am. Hallelujah. Use me. Fill me. Do a work in my life. Hallelujah. Can you say amen this morning? Amen. Praise the Lord. You're quiet. Oh, I'm so thankful that I know the Good Shepherd this morning. He has delivered me. He has set me free. Praise God. That we would hear the voice. But what does it? What did Jesus say? When you hear His voice, see, then you've got to take action. We've got to take action this morning. We can't just hear His voice and stay silent. We can't just hear His voice and stay unmovable. No, what do we got to do? We have to follow Him. Hallelujah. Because it says, when they hear my voice, the sheep, hallelujah, they will follow me. Hallelujah. I don't know about you this morning, but I want to follow the Good Shepherd yes. this morning. I don't want to follow the traditions of men. I don't want to follow after the things of this world, but I want to follow Jesus Christ, who is the Good Shepherd. Hallelujah. He will direct me in paths of righteousness. He will direct me in the holies of holies. He when I follow Him. Hallelujah. Do you want to follow the Lord? Hallelujah. I want to follow Jesus. I like what it says in Matthew 19.27 Peter said unto Jesus He said unto Him Behold, we have forsaken all and followed Thee. What 
shall we have therefore? I want to tell you what you'll have. Jesus looked to him and said, you will have great things. I want you to go home and read it in Matthew 19. He said, most of all, you will have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Oh, that makes me excited this morning. Are you thankful that you have everlasting life? Praise God. No more in darkness. No more in shame. No more in bondage. But he has set me free. And he has given me life eternal. Oh, you can't put a price tag on that this morning. You can't uh, measure what it's worth because uh, you can't measure eternal life. Hallelujah. It is forever and forever with Jesus Christ our Lord. In 1 Peter 2.21, he said, it says, For even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us. Leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. See, we got we live in a world today where we say we're a Christian, but we're not walking in the steps of the Savior. We're not walking in the steps of the good shepherd. You have to walk in the steps of Jesus today. You got to put your trust in him and you got to turn away from the things that you desire and you got to say, "Lord, I want to desire what you want in my life." I want to put my trust in you and I want to follow hard for you. He is the door. As it says here in verse 9, he said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Hallelujah. When that door opens up in our lives, hallelujah, we have a door. And I remember as a little girl, we would sing that song, One Way to Get to Heaven. Jesus is the only way. Hallelujah. You can't get in by any other door. Christ is the door in your life. He is the way. He is the truth. And He is the life. Hallelujah. Amen. You must enter in. You must know that there's no other door. You know, I think of, you know, that, that, uh, I just thought of it, that game show. Let's make a deal. Matthias. He like, they three did it over and brought it back. And you had to pick the door that you want to choose. And sometimes you pick the one door and it would be a wonderful prize. And then you pick the other door and it would be a terrible thing. It would be some goofy thing. See, we've got to know that we've got to pick the right door. We've got to pick Jesus. We've got to know that He is the only way. You must be saved. And the only way that you're going to be saved is if you open up the door to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is the way. Hallelujah. Can you say amen this amen. morning? Amen. Boy, where are you? Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. And when you feel this power, hallelujah, you can't be quiet. You've got to shout it out and, and you've got to declare it to a lost and a dying world. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Paul declared in Romans 5, 1 and 2, he said, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God. I want you to think on that. There are so many things that can bombard your life this morning. I always think of that story in Shannon. He tells it so well about Shambach, the preacher. If you don't know who R.W. Shambach was, he was a mighty man of God. And he was a mighty man of faith. And uh, I always think of that woman that 
He had tent revivals and tent meetings, and he said the woman came up to him, and he would all, when it, while he would preach, he would they would give him handkerchiefs and things to put on him while he preached, and then they would send it out to people. And I can recall as they said that the woman came up and she said, "Brother Shambaugh, would you please put this candy in your in your pocket?" He's like. Woman, I, I'm not going to put candy in my pocket. I do the handkerchiefs. But she says, you don't understand. I take and I send these handkerchiefs to my sister who's in the, you know, she was in an insane asylum. She didn't have a right mind. She didn't have the peace of God. I, I send the prayer cloths and they don't give it to her. They throw it away. She says, but if you'll take this candy and you'll wear it when you preach, I'll send it to my sister and they'll give it to her. And so he did it. He put it in his pocket and he preached. The power came down that night and he gave it to the woman. Months had gone by and never heard of anything until one time into a tent revival. He was there and two ladies came up. And here it was that sister. She said, I'd like to introduce you, Brother Shambaugh, to my sister. Hallelujah. See, she got that candy and she began to eat it. And she began to eat that candy and the power of God came down on her and she was set free. She was in her right mind. She had the peace that passes Amen. all understanding. Hallelujah. See, it comes from God that you can get up from day to day and you can go about your business. God gives you that peace that sustains you. It doesn't come from the things of this world. It doesn't come uh, from uh, whatever you try to do down here. It comes from the living God. Hallelujah. It's through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ by whom also we have access by faith. Do you have faith this morning? Hallelujah. Faith into this grace where we stand Hallelujah. and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm so thankful. Hallelujah. That He is that way. Praise the Lord. But see, He also wanted to remind us that He was the way. But we've got to also remember that there is a thief. Who is that thief this morning? It is Satan. I want you to know, as Jesus said, Satan cometh not only to steal, kill, and destroy. That's the only things that he wants to do. I want you to be well aware of Satan. He doesn't like it when you make the decision to come to church. He doesn't like it when you make that decision to come and give your life to the Lord. He doesn't like it when you say, hey, I'm going to lift up my hands and I'm going to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. No, we've got to know that the devil wants to take everything from us. He wants to take our joy. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. But I'm so thankful that that scripture doesn't end there. No, we have a Savior. We have the Good Shepherd. He has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. He didn't say just life, but He said Oh, fullness. He said abundantly I will give it to you. Do you have that life? Hallelujah. Do you have the Christ life? Hallelujah. I want you to put your trust in Jesus because He is the only way. He is the only Savior. It says in 2 Timothy 1.10, Now made manifest by the appearance of our Savior Jesus Christ who hath abolished death and hath brought to life immortality through light through the gospel. Oh, where would we be this morning if it had not been for the gospel of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. It was what will save you this morning because it says in Acts 4.12, neither is there salvation in any other. 
For there is none other name under heaven given among men where we must be saved. Jesus, His name. He is the way. Hallelujah. He will set you free and He will give you life and He will give it to you more abundantly. Hallelujah. He said, I am the good shepherd and I lay my life down for my sheep. I want you to know there's no other person that will lay their life down for you. It says in the Word of God, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. As they were singing that song, it's the cross. We need to ever keep the cross in view and know that He shed His blood for us. That He paid the ultimate sacrifice because there is no other that cares for you like Jesus. What did He say? There are going be, there's going to be those that come along, but no one's going to care for you like Jesus. It says in 1 Peter, we can cast all our care upon Him, for He cares for us. He loves you this morning. He cares about every detail of your life. He knows the very number of hairs that are upon your head. And He knows when one falls to the ground. And He loves you. And He wants you to be safe in His arms. How many want to be safe? Hallelujah. In the Savior's arms. Hallelujah. I want to be safe in the Savior's arms because I know when He is the Good Shepherd, He's going to keep me. Hallelujah. He's going to sustain me. And He's going to make sure that nothing gets in the way. When that devil comes in, hallelujah, he's going to be there to defend me. Hallelujah. I like the verse in Isaiah 40, 11. It says, He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them. How many has ever witnessed that you knew in times in your life that the Lord was carrying you and He Amen. was keeping you? Hallelujah. He will carry you. And he, it says in the Word that He will carry them in His bosom and He shall gently lead them. I want to be led by the Good Shepherd this morning. I want to know that He laid His life down and I am so thankful that I am His and He is mine. And as the Scripture says, Hallelujah, I know my sheep. Hallelujah. I chose them. Hallelujah. They are mine. Praise God. Aren't you thankful that you are in the Savior's care this morning? It says in Philippians 3 that I may know Him and the power of His resurrection. I want to let you know this morning you can know Him in an intimate way. You can know Him beyond just the mention of His name. You can know Him in a powerful way this morning. And you will know without of a shadow and without of a doubt that I know in whom I have believed and I am persuaded that He is able to keep me which I have committed unto Him against that day. Hallelujah. He is my Lord. Hallelujah. And He cares for you. He wants you to have a relationship with Him. He is our Good Shepherd this morning. And He wants us to come in. And He'll take us in His arms. And He'll shield us. And He'll keep us in this old dark world that we're living in. Can, you, can I get an amen this morning? Amen. 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 Let's stand. Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should. And all is well, cause I'm gonna dwell on everything good. 
Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should. And all is well, cause I'm going.